vulgar, and sarcastic, lazy, disgusting, drunken, obnoxious. Think of some of the worst adjectives you can. That's basically how I would sum up the team that put together Hector Badger Carnage. I'm Dean Burke, the creator, director, writer, designer, lead artist, animator, and composer on the Hector Badger Carnage game. Oh, here we go. Episode one, uh, we negotiate with terrorists. Uh, that, I mean, it starts off with Hector, he wakes up in a cell in his underpants. From that point on, you go on to become a hostage negotiator. I have a list of demands, of course. Come back into your own so I can go back to bed. One reviewer described him as the anti-Sherlock Holmes. The cases aren't really that difficult, but he can't be arsed to solve them. When taking this sample, did you hermetically seal it in an evidence bag? Oh yeah, folded it up and put it in my back pocket. The original idea for Hector actually sat in a drawer for almost a decade until I got a chance to pitch it to someone that was interested. I'd created a handful of characters, some story ideas, a fictitious British town called Clabbers Reek, all wrapped up in a 2D art style. We started talking about how we were going to make a game. We really wanted to go into the point and click adventure genre. So we thought, you know, let's take a crack at it. There aren't a whole lot of people out there doing this sort of thing. And to the style of the old nostalgic, you know, the Monkey Islands and the Salmon Maxes. You insult a dairy farmer where he stands? Now, Strandlooper's an animation company suddenly switching over to scripting an entire adventure game. Trying to get around all the different logical issues uh, was a task in itself to a bunch of people who are used to just putting it down on paper, drawing a storyboard and moving along with it. One thing we didn't need to do on the games was cast voice actors. We had our very own man of a lot of voices, Richard Morse. Get me Hector! He did all the male voices in the game, including Hector, uh, and actually some of the female voices in episode one. There's tricks, ladies. Slow today, I can't imagine why. Where's me blooming shotgun? No need to leave your seat, sir. He slips between characters so easily, and he did a fantastic job. Christ, another bleeding nut job. We do sort of like to think of Hector as part of our alter egos. He's pretty much everything you would love to be, but can't because you live in polite society. 